Hi guys, welcome to my channel where I will share my IT experience, we'll talk about programming languages and solving some practical tasks with you. By the way, talking about tasks, I'd like to solve this one today with you. I got it from Code Wars, and as you can see, there is a brief description right there. So, as a part of this task, we'll be given with a string, and each word in this string will contain a single number. So here is an example like is 2, this 1, test 4, and a3. And this number is the position the word should have in the result. So, other words, we can see that the number 1 is in the word this implies that this word should be the first in the output. And in the same way, the number 4 in the word test means that this word should be the last in our output. So, let's get started. I know at least three different options how this task can be solved, and the first one with a temporary object. So, we can have a temporary object where the keys are the numbers and the values are the words. So, for example, this object can look like this. First, we should get this, second, we should get this, so on and so forth. And eventually, we can just concatenate the values from this object, and this will be the output result. Let's get started. So, the algorithm should look something like this. First of all, we need to split our string to an array of strings, like this. Then, once we got the array, we can iterate over it and extract the numbers like the number 2 and the number 1 and paste it into our object so in other words we will have 1 this, 2 is 2 and so on and so forth and eventually we just need to get the values from this object and concatenate it with the space like this so let's start with splitting our string, but before doing that, we need to check that there is a value in our parameter words. And the easiest way, like we can do this, is to check if if not words, then return words. In this case, if we get something like null or undefined or an empty value, we will just return it back. So then we need to split our string into an array, and we can assign a variable called I don't know, let it be r and call split on our stream. So now this parameter will have our array right here. Then we should assign our temporary object, let it be our opt and assign an empty object. As we said before, now we need to iterate over, over our array and we can do this with a loop 4. So for our L of R I like to pay your attention that we are using OFF instead of IN, because in case of iterating over the array by OFF, we want to iterate over internal properties like LANG or any other. So let me maximize the editor so it can be a little bit better from the readability perspective. So now we need to extract a number from every of the words that we have. And to make this happen, I would create a separate function called, I don't know, get number with a parameter str and here we need to return 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 based on the value that we got. And the easiest way how we can accomplish that is by using a regular expression JavaScript. So in other words we can type just return str call the method match. Here we'll add a regular expression which means that we'd like to get the number from this string and just return it. So now, if we call this function with the string that we have, we will get the number back. So, we can assign a variable number, for example like this, get number, and pass the word L. Ok, so now when we call this function for our first word, we will get um, the number 2, then the number 1, then the number 4, and then the number 3. And these numbers, as I said before, can be used as a piece of our object. So in this case, we can assign my object, number, and here we assign our element, just to get to what the object that we were looking for, exactly like this. Okay, now it looks like that we are close to the finish. The last step is that we need to get the values from the object and concatenate it with a space. And to make this happen, we can call um, 
object values, pass our object. Now we will have an array of the values from the object and call join. And that's it. Let's check how it works. Okay, cool. It looks like each of our test results passed successfully. Let's try with attempt. Okay, nice. It looks like we passed 14 test cases and it works as expected. But actually, here's a way how we can improve this code. First of all, I don't like to have a separate object for persisting the order of our words. And we can get rid of it by using the sort function of our array. So how this should work? First of all, we get our array and we need to call sort function on it like this. Return array sort and pass a function with a and b. And a and b will be our elements of the array. Once we sort the elements of this array, we can just call join like we did before. And this is redundant. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so just to remove an excessive variable, let me type it like this. So we can call it here and remove this array and remove this comment. Yeah, now it seems a little bit easier. So eventually, as a part of this function, we need to return the value of comparison between these two elements. And it can be done like this. We just need to call get number on the value a minus get number on the value b. And that's it. Let's take a look how it works. Okay, cool. It passed. And one more time. Yes, this also works. So I think that this solution is a little bit better from readability perspective. Moreover, we also improved uh, complexity of the algorithm from the memory perspective. And that's it. Actually, I think that there is another way how we can make it even shorter. And, and to make this happen, we need to use an error function. For example, we can remove this function. We can type like this and remove return. Okay, I think that the first statement is also redundant. Nice. Let's take a look how it works now. Test. Cool. Attempt. Okay, perfect. It seems that eventually we'll be able to get solution just in a few lines of code, which is really great, I think. If you have a better way how we can solve this task, then please feel free to let me know in the comments and I can even shot another video with your solution, why not? So I hope this video was helpful for you and where you found something interesting in that. So subscribe to the channel just to not miss another video and see you next time.